Joined by Hofstra head softball coach Adrian Clark following today's Saturday sweep of Charleston. Coach, your thoughts on today's performance by the Pride? Yeah, it was uh, it was a great performance. I mean, anytime you can walk out with uh, two wins in a conference series, it's a good day. Questions? Yeah, first one. I mean, for getting a double header sweep in the CAA, how much how important is that, especially early on in the season? Yeah, it's you know I think it just sets a tone. I mean, it's no way an indication of who ends up winning the conference, right? But it sets the tone to help us build confidence in the fact that we know we we can do it. Coach, talk about Olivia Malinowski, freshman, just what her fifth hit yeah. um, you know, of her career and to walk off, to uh, smile on your face. Oh my gosh, them. it's awesome, right? Like, it's so cool. You know, we've been talking a lot about everyone's going to get an opportunity at some point throughout this year um, to, to get the job done. And we keep mixing things up. We keep giving people opportunities. And she stepped in without hesitation, without any nerves, and just got, got a good pitch and put a good – good cut on it so it was awesome and in both games really the small ball method really helped a lot of bun you know infield singles uh, compared to last weekend from Elon where there's a lot more power in what does that say about this offense where it can really do both yeah I think uh what they're learning about themselves is that there's significantly more dimensions to the game of softball than there is just swinging a bat um uh being able to get the ball down and to show something different put a little bit more pressure on the defense um in addition to a couple hits, it, it always changes the moment, momentum of the game. Coach, you uh, you expressed your discontent that throughout the entire day with the umpiring. Uh, just a l couple times, um, really, you got all around the field, home plate, and then each corner. Can you tell me a little bit about how those conversations went and what you were talking to them about? Uh, you know, I, the, the conversations are just trying to get an understanding of what the calls are so that we can better coach our team, right? And it has... The, the umpires are the umpires, right? They're, they're human. They're going to make mistakes just like we do. Um, but it's important to try to understand how we can be better for our players and then how we can teach our players to better understand the game within what they're trying to do, right? And so it was a little frustrating um, at a couple different points, but, uh, you know, it, it wasn't so much about the calls themselves as it was making sure that, that, you know, I'm doing my job in trying to educate our players and making the game about the players, which is what it should always be about, right? And shifting over to pitching, of course, Ben Tree not on her A game today, and Nikki Mullen did well in game one, and then Absell in game two was tremendous. Can you just comment on the pitching you saw today? Yeah, you know, our pitching staff, and we've talked about this from, from the very beginning, is that it's going to take all of them, all of the time, right? It's like a all hands on deck kind of mentality, and um, you know, Nikki did a phenomenal job, not necessarily expecting she was going to go in that early, but not only did she go in, but she, she, you know, dominated, she got it done, right? She got outs. Um, she put us in a position to be able to win the game. And then, uh, Julia doing the same thing, right? Like just sticking to her game, you know, hits are going to happen. Home runs are going to happen. Right. And it's more about what we do after that, um, that really sets the tone and just having a pitching staff that believes in each other. Um, I think is is what allows us to continue seeing different people shine in different moments. Coach, what does it say about your team? Roller coaster day from 12 p.m. to now, right? <laughs> Two games of just back and forth battle with a re really aggressive team in Charleston. Can you speak on what that means about your team? What it says about your team? Yeah, you know, it just it it shows how gritty they are, right? Like they, you know. It it what it did feel like a roller coaster ride at a couple points, right? Like I felt like I was going up and down and up and down. Um, but what was really cool is that they they didn't they weren't phased by that, right? Like they just figured out a way to get it done. They pressed reset. They continued to try to be different in what they were doing previously. And anytime you can make those in game adjustments, um, things are likely to go in your favor. So yeah, it it was a fun ride. <laughs> Uh, you talked earlier this week about how this team is really playing with confidence, especially after that Elon series. What level of confidence did you see in your players for these two games? Uh, I saw a level of confidence that it didn't matter if they didn't have the at-bat that they wanted in their previous bat, but they were going to continue to stay on the attack, right? And that takes a level of confidence to know that uh, you're going to make those mistakes. You're not always going to... Um, to get the hit you want, but it's more about what can you do for the team, right? I think about Megan Giordano today, right? Probably one of our most dominant hitters at the plate, but she also laid down two squeezes, right? And a sack bunt, and a which allowed base. us to be in a position, <laughs> and a stolen base at home, um, which allowed us to be in position uh, to, to 
play as a team, right? And sometimes we don't always know what is going to be kind of handed to us and our responsibilities that day, but it's just a matter of getting it done. And she, she did a great job getting it done. Okay. Coach, you, um, you, you brought Haley back in in the, um, the seventh inning of game one. Did you speak on your decision there and what kind of went into that? Yeah, I mean, I I believe in, in all of our players, right? And, you know, in my opinion, I, I want to keep putting her out there. I want her to know that her team believes in her, that we believe in her, and giving her an opportunity to try to, like, come back and, and close it out, you know? I... I she's not going to learn unless she gets in that position, right? And she's young. And we I also knew that we had Julia and we had Bella and we have a staff of pitchers that are going to have her back. So to me, it was, I felt like it was the right decision. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.